brand new feature on Outlook 2010 is a new feature called Quick Steps. And what Quick Steps is, just based upon its name, are some fast ways to do routine things in Microsoft Outlook. This video shows you three or four different things that you can do with Quick Steps in order to speed up your work as, you, as you're processing your emails, for example. Enjoy today's video. I'm in Outlook 2010. I want to demonstrate the new feature called Quick Steps. I'm going to show you four examples of using Quick Steps in this video. The Quick Step part of the ribbon shows up about halfway across the ribbon when you're on the Home tab. And the first thing I want to do is demonstrate how you can create for yourself a fast way of sending out emails to people that are on your team. So I'm going to take my mouse up to the ribbon and I'll click on the Quick Step area on Team Email. It takes me into a First Step Setup window. And in this window, I'm going to call this uh, a different name. I'll call it My Department. I now want to identify who I want to use this, who I want to use this Quick Step to to send out emails to people. So I click on the Two button. It takes me into an address book. Now this is a very basic address book. Yours might be a lot more complex than this one. I want to be able to quickly send an email to Train One and Train Three. And I'm just double clicking on those names. And off my contact list, I want to be able to send one out to say Chris Davis. So I double click on Chris's name. I've got three people showing up at the bottom of the window. I'll click on OK. And I've got my first time setup now completed. I'll click on the Save button. And here's the result of what I just finished doing. I want to send an email to those people. I'll take my mouse up to the Quick Step area. There's a Quick Step now called My Department. I click on that. And what it quickly does, it produces for me an email already addressed to those people. So it's a great step for those people that are sending out emails to the same people over and over again. That's the first example using a quick step in order to create an email for several people. The second example I want to demonstrate to you is a quick step called reply and delete. And this is for people that read a piece of email and then they want to reply back to that person and then delete the email from their inbox at the same time. So for example, I'll click on this email here. I'll read the contents of the email in the reading pane. I now want to reply back to the person and delete them at the same time, or delete the email at the same time. I go to the pre-built quick step called reply and delete. I'll click on that. I get a reply email message ready to send out to that person. I'll just thank them for the email. I'll click on send. And that button is no longer in my inbox as well. So it's a fast method for replying to somebody and deleting the email all in one step called a quick step. The third example of a quick step that I want to demonstrate is how you can quickly move an email from your inbox into one of your folders. I've got a folder already created off the inbox called important. And imagine now I get emails into my inbox that I want to be able to move over to the important folder. And rather than have to physically drag them over to the important folder, I can create, I can create a quick step for it. So to create the, this quick step, I'm going to go to the scroll bar part of the quick step area. I'll click on the down arrow. And on the drop down list, I'm going to go to new quick step. I'm going to slide across and click on move to folder. It takes me into a first time setup window. I'm going to call this quick step important. And what I want to be able to do is to move an item to a particular folder. I'll click on the drop down arrow next where it says choose folder. And in the drop down list, I'll look for the one called important. I'll click on that. Now when I move this over, <clears throat> I don't want to have this marked as being red. So I want to take the check mark out where it says mark as red. So in other words, when it moves over, it will be marked as being unread. I'll click on the Finish button, and I've now got that quick step created. And here's how it works. I get an email in, maybe called Sales Targets, and what I want to be able to do is to move that quickly to the important folder without having to click, without having to drag it across. I just go to the important quick step up on the ribbon and click. That item has now been moved over to the important folder. Again, I get another one in. I click on this. I click on Important. That moves that over to the important folder. And just so you can see what happened, I'll click on the important folder, and I now have two items that are moved over to it by real quickly using the quick step called important. The fourth example of a quick step that I want to demonstrate is for the following scenario. Let's imagine you get a lot of emails into your inbox that you find yourself forwarding to a certain person. And once you forward the email to that person, you want to delete it from your inbox. We're going to create a quick step for ourselves that will forward an email to a certain person. And then once it's been forwarded to that person, we want to delete the email from our inbox as well. 
So I'm going to take my mouse up to the ribbon. I'll click on, in this case, to manager. Takes me into a window. Now I'm going to do a little bit of extra on here. So I want to go to the options button and click. And rather than call this to manager, I'm going to call this uh, to Bob. I want to, I want to use this for as, as, a, as a quick step for sending something off to Bob. I want to forward this email to a particular person. So I'll click on the to button. Takes me into my address book. I'm going to choose this person here. This might be Bob, for example. I'll double click on this person. I'll click OK. And then I want to do another step. So I'll go lower down. I'll click on Add Action. And I'll click on the drop down arrow. And I'll delete the message. So in other words, when I use this quick step, I want to forward the email off to Bob. And once it's been forwarded off to Bob, I want to delete the message. I'll click on the Save button. It takes me back into the inbox. I have a brand new quick step called Bob. I'll click on this email here. I'm going to forward this to Bob. I click on Bob. It takes me to a forwarding message. I'll just say, for your information, I'll send that off to Bob. And it actually takes it out of my inbox at the same time. So again, it's just a nice, fast way. And that's the whole idea of Quick Steps is it's a nice, fast way to speed up your work as you're using Microsoft Outlook. Wow. Hope you can see how valuable Quick Steps are in Microsoft Outlook 2010. I use them all the time. It helps me to really be quick as I process my emails. Hope you found, hope you found those uh, steps useful as well. We have lots of other videos on our website that give you a lot of be valuable benefits as far as being able to become more effective as you use different Microsoft applications, including Outlook. Please visit our website. It's www.joecomputertips.com. My name again is Joe Peterson. Thanks for watching today's